G'day. Welcome back to another episode. You probably would have gathered more the thumbnail, but how bloody cool is this? It's the first snow of the year. Like last night. I noticed it's a bit whiter than normal outside. <laughs> this is unreal. Bit of a novelty for us Queenslanders. But um, yeah. <laughs> you just drove in, drove in through here, crunching through all the frozen puddles and that. And a scrape thick layer of snow off the car, which is great. This is what we've got at the moment. Absolutely magical. So naturally the only thing that could possibly make this better would be to catch a fish in the snow. So I'm just down here on one of the lakes now. Yeah. Well, talking to some locals, got some um, got some more advice. So. And obviously the no waders situation is, is still an issue, so the old RMs are doing it for the moment. How yeah, cool. Okay, it took way longer than it should have. So what I should have done is rigged up at home in the warmth. My fingers are just not working. Couldn't tie any knots. Anyway, got there. Oh, it is cold with that wind. right into the wind. This is going to be difficult. It's pretty challenging conditions. Just gonna try just in here quickly and then oh. it worked. <laughs> and then I'll um yeah, I'll head off and try somewhere else. <laughs> Look at that, that was a little just a technique that a bloke was telling me about last night. And, um, oh yeah, it worked. Not a monster fish, but as we all know, fish is a fish. Hopefully we can get a good one doing that. I'll be happy. It's just chill, mate. How are you getting all me bloody shit tank? Oh, there you go. Oh, go on. In there. Oh, that's good. All right. That's worth persisting for a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm trying to, well, what I was taught, tiled that over a bit. Aim for these little bubble lines in the wind. I run it, try and run across the waves and I'm just moving it. And then on that, Before I cast, bring it back in slowly like I was doing, and then that's when they pick it up, which is exactly what just happened. So, anyway, let's see if I can repeat with a slightly bigger fish. Granted, this would be easier if I was in the water, but I just can't quite bring myself to do it. Not yet, anyway. Oh, it's cold.
Oh, yep. Oh, that's a better fish. That's a far better fish. Let's say it again. Local advice. This is what we were talking about. It's well, it's getting real technical the chat, but I was saying they fish um, based on altitude around here. And this, you know, for altitude best time of year, oh yeah. Which this time of year apparently and this altitude is is what you want for this particular lake. Oh, he's up me. And this weather as well. Um, while it's obviously fairly horrible, it's uh, quite often when the fish are feeding. I've only got four pound between that dropper and the point fly, so I'm um, fairly reluctant to go any harder on this guy. And the other thing is, because I'm a super professional at this fly fishing business, I haven't got a landing net or anything. This is actually seems like a fairly good fish. I think it's a rainbow too. We may even keep him. Come on, father. He's not bad. It's a rainbow. I might keep him, actually. If I can land him. So I can land him. I do prefer eating rainbows to browns. It's a healthy fish, that one. On the dry fly too. Yeah, I was literally just just trying something that I was talking to Blake about last night. And uh, fish across the waves like this with those two flies, and that's exactly what we did. That we did. <laughs> it worked. Alright, I had another few casts down there, but yeah, no, nothing else happening. I might, uh, I'll just knock the fillets off this guy and then I might drive around that other side and have a bit more of a look and then I can get warm. All that snow's starting to melt, so. Um, I guess I'll do, I'll do a catch and cook. I'll, I'll cook that trout, so I'll come down one afternoon somewhere down here and it's nice, and um, yeah, I think of the rest of me and do something with it. Um, but yeah, I got work for the afternoon. That was pretty cool in the morning though. The snow and the fish, yeah, uh, got stoked. Anyway, I'll uh, see you when we're cooking. Hey, you probably thought I was cooking now. Well, the plan was it's the next day, and I was gonna, I was gonna go down and cook down on the lake. Well, as you expect from Tassie, it's another beautiful Tassie day. It's blowing its ass off down there. And it's raining. It's just not real pleasant. So we went down to have a look. Ended up having a bit of a flick. Doubt anybody is surprised. So yeah, I'll just come down here. Where it's a bit more sheltered. Just gonna have a bit of muck around for the afternoon. And yeah, I'll cook 
at some stage, whether it's tomorrow or as soon as this weather looks yeah, even slightly better. Anyway, let's see if we can find one out here. So I've still got that same dabbler fly on. A little orange bead nymph that I was fishing with the other day. Just doing that same tactic. I'll see what happens. What change it to something similar, or even just put a string of nymphs on them. Do the same thing. This shore is a bit better for it because it's not as weedy. This lake's nowhere near as cold as that big old lake. Wow. I literally just did a fly change and bang, next cast. I just changed batteries as well and I was gonna, I was just about to turn the camera on to say, cheeky fly change, let's see how we go. And then literally bang, straight on. Wow. That's good, eh? I like when shit like that happens. It's not a monster, but I don't know if I'd quite call him a small fish either. He'll do. Easy to dagger. Yeah, he ain't the buddy. BBO hopper, they call that one. Apparently, it's the go. From what I can see. Oh, shit. He got me. So gloves are a hindrance. Anybody familiar with? Ah, what was I thinking? You get your button, hang on a sec. Hold tight. Barbless might be a thing. Easy. Just a little guy. That's alright. Should have taken that glove off, shouldn't I? Mmm, fishy. Right, that's all that was required, they say. Yeah, that's the fly there. BBO hopper, apparently it's a bit of a thing. Apparently it's quite good in this lake and, oh, well, there you go. Bruce in the pudding, literally just changed it. First cast after the change. Right, I gotta do us for now. Go back to the pub for a beer and get warm. It's pretty bloody cold as you can probably tell by how I'm dressed. So yeah, this time you'll see me cooking next. Goodbye. Right, hey, it's time to cook up some trout. Yeah, I've come down to a different lake, as you can see behind me. Still just as beautiful as they all are. It's obviously a different day to uh, <laughs> to the snow. Uh, it's tazzy for you. It's actually quite warm. It's lovely. Uh, in classic me fashion, I've left the, uh, the camera, the big camera and the tripod at home. So, yeah, I've probably got distracted from about fishing or something like that. Anyway, we're going to make do with what I've got because I'm a fair way from home. But I wanted to come here because it's magic. And plus, I'll get this done and I can have a quick flip later on. So, what I'm going to do today is a, um, like a creamy trout pasta. So this is just one that I've made up again. Um, I've done it once, turned out mint. So, yeah, I'm just going to try and replicate that. Anyway, first thing we're going to need is a fire, so let's get on that. Obviously Charlotte's not with me as well, she's back to work, making the dough. I'm making the dinner. It's a bit weird, I've got no one to laugh at the jokes. Alright, first things first, I'm in Tassie, so I'm drinking Tassie. That's pretty good. Alright. So... When I say good stuff, I mean onion, garlic, chives, mushrooms. That's pretty much going to be the base and butter. Good old butter. We start with the onion and the garlic. All right, so I'm just going to do that much garlic. Garlic is a very personal choice, I feel. So I'm just going to slice this. I'm 
mushrooms are just getting sliced. Now I'm just going to go through the tedious job of pulling out all these pin bones. What's even on? Yeah, I think I'll skin those. No, I'll leave the skin on. The skin sort of keeps it together on the grill. Trusty pair of Charlotte's good tweezers. Although this is a tedious job, I definitely think it's worth doing in trout because they just take up so much meat in the middle of the foot. Now you get in a groove, it's not that bad. Cool, that's done. I don't know how to season that, I'm just going to do a little bit of salt, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of pepper. Alright, that grill's pretty ready to go because I'm just going to do the fish fairly, fairly slowly. It's not smoking as such, but it's just going to be just a sort of slow, slow sort of grill, I suppose. Try and get a bit of smoke flavour into it. It would be nice like if you had the time to do it the same way I did that other, that other brown, you know, properly set it up and let it smoke for a couple of hours. But I don't have all that time. Yeah, definitely cut a few corners when I was filling these. You would have seen on the footage it was bloody freezing cold. This skin's gonna come off anyway when it goes in. It's not um I'm not concentrating too much on it. No, well, no, Pep. We're living in a, We're actually living in a bit of a, I guess you'd call it house kind of a unit thing where we're working. So half the things are in there, the other half are in here, and then the other half I forgot. So, yeah, we're just we're making it work. It'll turn out good. Don't, don't worry, nobody, nobody stress. Alright, let's put this on. This fire is slowly starting to, to do its thing. It's gonna let me get a bit of heat there, but I'll probably push the fire over a bit. Um, and like I say, just, just let it absorb a bit of smoke and, and cook, cook a little bit slower. Yeah. There's actually a fair bit of heat coming out of that, um, which is all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the fish over. Try and put a bit of oil to prevent it sticking. Oh, it smells so good. This should surpass this uh, salty, salty water. I'm talking handfuls of salt. Alright, that fish is done. So it's coming off. You can see it. So I'll let that cool for a bit, take the skin off, and then it's ready to go in. Alright, let's see if we can get enough heat out of this to cook everything else. Rightio, so we're just going a bit of olive oil, a good bit of butter. Butter's the main deal. So onion and garlic in together. I'm just going to put that really slowly. Oh, so good. Right, so that's been a bit about 10 minutes, yeah. Just move that over on the, on the low heat side. It's nearly there, the onions are they're pretty soft. So I'm going to take the mushroom in now because the mushroom will take a little while. I want to get that, yeah, reduce that right down as well. And obviously, it sweats a bit of moisture, so. All this will keep cooking while that's in there. A bit of wine would be a fabulous spot. 
Wine's a pretty expensive commodity up, <laughs> up in these parts, so I'm just going to go with that. Mushrooms are nearly there. Oh, that looks good. So I'll just go them a little bit longer, and then I'll get the we'll get the cream in and just have it on a fairly low setting. Setting. Low heat. Because I'll, I'll thicken it out with um, a bit of pasta water and possibly even some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, that's pretty well what I want. That smells delicious. Looks damn good. Need it just like that. It's gone. Now I'm going to season this before I um, before I cream it, uh, and then I'll, I'll probably season it again later once pasta's all in. That's all getting happy together. So, like I said, the black pepper has absconded, but this definitely needs some sort of pepper. So we're going to use a little bit of white pepper. That is pepper, right? Oh yeah. Cool. That's. Perfect. You can scroll the mushrooms, the garlic. When you when you press on the onions, they just melt away. That's exactly what I'm looking for. That's maximum flavour. How thick is your cream? Ooh, very thick. Mm. Bloody love cream. So I'm pretty much just going to let that get hot. Okay, it will reduce a tiny bit, but not much at all. Because once I put a bit of pasta water in, a bit of parmesan, it's going to um, it's going to thicken up and be perfect. All right, pasta's pasta's good. Just going to pinch a bit of water from it. Pasta water is the duck snacks. And we'll drain that. Yeah, we get a bit of heat in this and just cook this down a little bit now because obviously I added all that water so just gonna cook that starch out. Oh that's still on the I'm gonna get some cheese. Ooh, easy to It's pretty hot. It's gonna get we season. I'm fine with these sorts of sauces it might you know you, you really want it to taste like this you want it to taste nearly two seasoned two salty two you know because once it's um once it sticks to all that pasta you, you lose that concentration i suppose so the fish all i'm going to do rip the skin off skin can go not as far as i thought this looks good. I'm going to try a bit of this actually. Hmm. Yep. Yep. That's good. I think rainbow trout. I think rainbow trout hands down better than brown trout. Comment below, let me know what you reckon. I think I don't reckon there's a question. I just think the flavour is so much nicer. The colour of it. Yeah. Anyway, let me know what you reckon. So I'm just just breaking that up. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Because once that mixes in, it's gonna it's gonna fall apart even more. So this is just to give it a little head start. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of smoke in there too. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, that's good. That's ready to go in. Switching camera angles here like a boss. Oh, that's good. So I'm gonna go pasta. This pasta's yeah, probably. I'll probably slightly overdo it. I'll be honest with you. No one's watching's gonna taste it, so you won't know. But I don't want to lie. 
that was a hard one. Oh, no. I had to put them a bit. So I should have got a little bit, you know, before El Dante, so to speak, because it will cook more in here. Right, trout. Oh, yeah. yep. Chives. This is a bit naughty. But will be damn good. Fine, a bit more butter just to stir it through. Right, so a good bit of this corner. Keep a bit for garnish. Yeah, your little spirals are good for this because they really do soak up all that sauce. So I was thinking that was still a bit liquidy, but now that passes in, it's it's gotten rid of it. So that's good. Alright, that's good. Butter up. Do my own taste test. Charles, not here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That's damn good. It's creamy. There's a fair bit of trout, there's a lot of meat on that fish. Very nice. You just get that subtle hint of the of the, the barbecue flavor, I suppose, in the trout. Nice little tang from the um, fresh chives at the end. It's it's seasoned probably that's what I love about it. And just that essence of an army in there from the mushrooms. Mm. Not in pass like stupidly heavy creamy as well I think that's probably because I did let it go a little bit too long get a little bit too thick but hey I like it like that and what you could do if, if that if that happened when it was like that if you kept a little bit more past the water just throw that in let it loosen it up a bit but other than that she's a bloody pearl anyway I'm gonna probably smash this pretty quick because that sun's on its way down. We'll do a quick clean up and then get out there and have a crack. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's, um, yeah, pretty cool little episode. I enjoyed making this one. Just catching that, this trout in the snow, that was a, that was a proper novelty for me. That was something really cool. Um, yeah, and you know, a good fish at that, to be able to do it where I was. It, granted, it's taken me a few days to actually get time and manage to come down here and cook it, but this, this recipe is perfect, I love it, so, so good with fresh trout, um, you know, I'm all about catching your own food and not right, living from the land, but, you know, sustainable, sustainable food, so that's what I'm all about, um, yeah, I think we nailed it in this one, anyway, let me know in the comments, like I said, what you reckon about brown or, or rainbow trout, um, let me know if you want to see more cooking, we are planning to do a bit of a, a cooking smash, so it'll be coming up soon, yeah, anyway, stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.